The aquaponics project is being introduced at the Kanyisa Special School in Gala, that's in the Eastern Cape, using smart farming systems to grow food sustainably. This initiative is aimed at improving food supply, promoting nutritional education, and empowering the community. It's the first of its kind in the province since the initial launch in KwaZulu Natal. Watching developments for us is SABC News reporter Fundisa Mflakude, who joins us now live. Fundisa, take us through how the system works. Thank you very much, Ayanda. We are inside a very hot tunnel here at Gala in the Eastern Cape. But this heat inside this tunnel is very good for the fish and plants that are grown here. Uh, it's a very good initiative from what we have heard and what we are seeing uh, from the director of this of the Green Arch in Innovations, Mr. Um, Luvo Kukwana, who is saying that this is a very initiate, good initiative, especially for the people of the Eastern Cape, where we know that there is the uh, Eastern Cape, as we know that it's one of the poorest provinces in the country. This is a very good initiative because they are going to use this uh, to empower young people, especially at schools as well in the rural areas, to be able to grow uh, their own vegetables. But let's speak to the director of uh, Green Arch Initiative, Mr. Innovations, rather, Mr. Luvo Kugwana. Luvo, tell us, we see that uh, you are planting these in crushed stone. Why and how? All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to the viewers as well. Uh, my name is Luvo Kugwana. Uh, I'm the director of Green Arch Innovations, which is a company that designed this entire system. So uh, actually, I'm from Eastern Cape. Uh, grew up in Eastern Cape from Tabankuru and then pursued my qualification in KZN. So um, while I was growing up, the main thing for me was how, what can I learn from higher institutions and I take it back to where I come from, which is the Eastern Cape rural areas. So today we are in Eastern Cape, uh, where we're going to witness an aquaponic system, which is a different farming system. So it grows fish, it uses that water where you fish to irrigate your crops. And then the crops that you grow in this system, they're not grown from soil. They grow from crushed stone, which is quite interesting. So the reason we designed this system specifically is because it can be placed anywhere. So even if you have an area in Eastern Cape where there's arid dry land, these systems can work to benefit our people in Eastern Cape, especially for a province that has a very high unemployment rate. So also we wanted to capture the interest of young people into innovative farming. And why, uh, I mean, Kanyesa Special School, do you think these learners are able to grasp as to how... Actually, it is a very complex system, uh, but with Engine, who is the sponsor of this system, for us was to, we want to have something that the kids can get excited with. I mean, it's a special school, some of these kids are really excluded. So we wanted to bring this system so the kids can interact with advanced farming systems, also that they can have something that they can call a belonging. So for us, this is the start. Uh, we want to grow this kind of system into other different schools as well. But today we are brought here by Engine, who chose the school for us to develop this system. So it's an exciting system for this for This is something that can benefit the kids and they can learn advanced farming systems, fish farming and plant production. How does it work? Yeah, it's a very, it's a very simple system. So the system how it works is you have fish tanks and then you have your grow beds. So you have your fish tanks where you breed your fish and that water from the fish, it goes to your crops. So one thing about agriculture, we know that when you buy fertilizer, your fertilizer is very rich in ammonia. So when you grow in your fish in fish tanks, the waste from the fish is very, very high in ammonia. That's what you need in your, in your fertilizer. So here we don't need fertilizer. Fish is our fertilizer. So you move water from the fish to the plants, the plants absorb those nutrients, then they send the water back to the fish. It's a purified clean uh, water. So the system circulates, moves water from the fish tanks to the grow beds and then goes back to the fish. That's how it works. Coming from Emambondwin and Dabangul, why start here in Gala and not in the Pondolan area? Uh, so what happened was when we published these kind of systems, so Engine saw us online. Uh, actually, we, we won an engine pitch and polish competition that was sponsored by engine. And then when they heard that my interest is to develop these kind of systems for schools from an East Cape. And then fortunately, this school here today uh, is part of the engine chain, the schools that they support. So they the ones that chose the school for me to develop. But definitely, I'm going to take something back to Tabangul. Mm, yes. Okay. And then, uh, uh, Luvo, l let's talk about the whole thing now it's inside this tunnel we have the tanks there where you grow your fish and then these are the crash stone Yo. <laughs> oh yes um so so 
The reason you need soil when you're planting your crops is because you need to get the nutrients from the ground. So within the aquaponics system, it's because you have the fish already that supplies the nutrients to the crops. You don't need soil at all. So the crushed stone is just there to hold your plants firmly so that you can give structure that can grow up. But the nutrients, the, all the nutrients, they come from the fish in our system. A very good uh, project and initiative for food security, especially in the Eastern Cape. Mm. Yes, um, I think food security is one of the key things that we look at uh, because one of the benefits of running aquaponic systems uh, is because you can grow vegetables all year round. I mean, to be growing tomatoes, these tomatoes will grow 12 months of the year because in aquaponic systems, you're not really hindered by seasonality. You can grow crops even if they're out of season because they're inside a really hot greenhouse that controls temperature and also they're thriving from nutrients that comes from your fish. Okay, you are only growing tomatoes. And you can grow any. You can grow different vegetables. You can do lettuce. You can do bell peppers. So specifically for tomatoes, because we work actually we went around the town, we couldn't find germ tomatoes. Oh. Yes, okay. and germ tomatoes is what also what people love. Also, so that's why we chose germ tomatoes because there is a market for it, and no one is growing them around the area. Well, thank you very much, uh, Lou Vokukwana, the director of Green Edge Innovations. Well, this is very interesting, Ayanda, if I must say so. As you have he heard him say, these are the tanks where they grow the fish, and the waste that comes from these tanks goes straight to the plants, where they are then used to water and these plants and then go back to the tanks 